trash can and comes out clean. Think on that. Um, as you do, let's go to Deuteronomy 6. And we know this. We have this memorized. So let's just, let's just read it with fresh eyes right now. <clears throat> Starting in verse 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your sons and talk of them when you sit in your home and when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontals on your forehead. You shall write them on the doorpost of your home and on your gates. Then it shall come about when the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you. Listen to this, guys. Great and splendid cities which you did not build. Houses full of all good things which you did not fill. Hewn cisterns, wells that you did not dig. Vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant. And you shall eat and be satisfied. He says, and watch yourself, lest you forget the Lord, who brought you from the land of Egypt and out of the house of slavery. You shall fear only the Lord your God, and you shall not, and you shall worship him and swear by his name. Listen to this, you shall not follow other gods, any of the gods of the people who surround you. We go to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. Guys, I'm going to read a text that answers the question that I asked you earlier. God is good, my brother. I hope this reaches you and your loved ones in good health and high spirits. As I'm typing this, I'm filling up a trash can. It's being placed on somebody else's heart to get baptized. The difference with this one is I'm by myself. I was telling Stephen, like you are, like a mentor to me, and I wanted to share this experience with y'all. I'm not really just nervous. I'm just kind of really letting the Holy Spirit guide me. Also, if you did get a certificate made to send him, his name is Patrick. But I love you guys, and I hope all of you have a good and blessed day. Praise God. So what goes in a trash can and comes out clean? Patrick, <laughs> right? Isn't that awesome? Anthony's at the jail baptizing someone in a trash can because we have not been allowed to go in with the standard horse trough that we fill up once a month. Um, he's making ways. He's leading people to Christ. And so I want us to think on this. I want us to think because who does Jesus say is the light of the world? We know this. Who? Who? What Jesus say? I am the light of the world. And um, Leanne, if you're here somewhere, who did he also say is the light of the world? All right, she put this on this morning. It says you are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. So I want us to I want us to think on this. Um. 
That was June the 4th at 8, 11 a.m. I got that text. And I think back on June the 4th, 8 a.m., what I was doing. Um, I'll tell you, the biggest thing with this quarantine and kind of getting out of routine of um, serving God in, in ways that I did not even know encouraged me that um, are no longer available. My biggest struggle was the end part of Deuteronomy. Was that, um, think on this with me. Think on this. Um, is it possible to read your Bibles, do your Devo, say a prayer, and possibly forget God throughout the day as we go to our jobs or as we live our lives. And by that I mean um, I haul fuel and right now it's super busy and 20, 30 people a day calling in wanting fuel, wanting fuel, wanting fuel. If I don't work in the Lord while I'm hauling fuel, what is the point? You know? I, I can do my Bible study, I can stand up here, I can sing, I can pray, I can do all these things. And if I go to work and I'm ugly and hateful and resentful and frustrated with people, I've wasted, I've forgotten God. I'll remember him on Sundays because we just do. And usually Wednesdays. But I want us to think like our daily, 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 daily lives. What do we pursue? You know, I was talking to Marcy, and I was like, you know, like the world that doesn't believe in God, what do they pursue? What do they do with their day? What are they doing at 8 o'clock on June the 4th? I don't... It's probably seeking the things of this world. It's probably seeking stuff. It's probably pursuing their jobs and their careers and their things. It's probably pursuing the, what they want. And I, I just... The world needs to see that we don't do that. Um... There's a song, it's called Waymaker, and I'm sure you guys, if y'all are on social media, have seen it pop up in several places. Um, there was a little girl who was talking to her mom about the, the virus several months ago, and um, it was used in that. Um, there was, Milwaukee, Wisconsin had a protest where everyone walking was singing Waymaker together. Man, do you need to say anything else to find unity and love and compassion and mercy? Is glorifying God together. So here, here's these lyrics, and I just highlighted some of them. It's a 15-minute song, so I won't read it all. It says, you are here, moving in our midst. You are here, working in this place. Listen to this way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. You are here, healing every heart. You are turning lives around. You mended every heart. Listen again here, guys. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop working. You never stop working. Oh, his name is above. His name is above depression. His name is above loneliness. His name is above disease. His name is above cancer. His name is above every other name. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are, Jesus. That is who you are. That is who you are. Oh, I know that is who you are. That is who you are. Guys, do we live lives that, that, that don't just sing that when it comes on Caleb? Do, do, do we live lives that when, when things happen in our lives that we believe he is a way maker? He is a promise keeper. Like that our lives are not focused on the things of this earth. Because if it is, it's temporal. Me and Marcy, three weeks ago when all that storm came through, you know what we were doing? We were painting urns and pulling weeds and making sure everything looked just fine until a big old wind came and tore everything up. <laughs> like, you know? We, we want to find peace in our landscaping. That can be gone in a second, and we know that. And that's why at the end of the day, we might feel some sort of satisfaction with what we accomplished that day, but in the end, we know it's temporal and we know it's fleeting. 
And so my plea today is if, if you feel like your life is lacking a little purpose or it's, you feel like you're just striving after and it's just this weight that you're constantly just pouring yourself into this world for what? I, I, I beg and I pray that, that you really slow down and you ask God to open up doors for you to truly encourage people and truly teach people and truly be someone that is not affected by the things of this world. Because the world is affected by the things of this world because that's all it's got. Okay? It's not all we got. We're just here for a minute. I told one of the guys the other day, I said, you know what? This whole life is us just getting there. You know? And if we believe that, man, this world needs to see this faith that stands. This faith that is immovable, it said, and unshakable in who? In Christ. In Jesus. In our hope in eternity. You know, we treat people differently. You know, they don't meet our expectations. So what? I don't meet somebody else's expectations. So what? Love people. Love them. Be patient with them. Constantly looking for opportunities to lead them and show them the love of Christ. Pray with me one more time. God, use us. Use us to stand on your truths. Allow us to sacrifice our comfort and our lives and our, our goals and our achievements and all these things that we find temporary hope in that we can sit down at the end of the day and pat ourselves on the back. Help us to see that for what it is. A wasted life. Help us to pursue souls and people in areas that, that we can go and we can speak truth in. I was talking to one of my friends the other day and he was just, there's so many broken, hurting people that don't have Jesus. What are we doing concerned with the temporary? God, open our eyes, open our eyes, open our eyes, open our hearts. Thank you, and we love you, and we pray that you give us undistracted devotion to you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.